This is one of the problems in the chapter of work, applications of integrals. In this case, we again talking about pumping of water out of the tank. The tank has a hemisphere shape and it's full of water. We also are given the weight of the water, 62.5 pounds per feet cube. And we need to find the, water requ uh, the work required to pump all the water out of the tank. So, as always, we need to figure out what is the slice or slices of this object to create the integral. The infinitely many slices and infinitely small slices, if you want to think about that, are going to be horizontal slices. Let's assume that y measures the depths in feet below the top of the hemisphere. So, this line over here will be y equals 0, which is basically x-axis. And uh, y equals minus 5 over here is how deep the tank is. How do we know that? That is because from the picture it says that the radius is 5. Thus, we can say that the depth is also 5. And in this case we call it uh, minus 5, so 5 units below y equals 0. y equals 0 is the top of the tank and y equals minus 5 is the bottom of the tank. Makes sense. The cross sections with the vertical center of the slice will look like this. That's a half of the circle. The equation of the circle of radius 5 can be written as x squared plus y squared equals 25. We need only half of it. And also we're talking about the horizontal disk slice of water uh, at the coordinate y. So my radius will be x and x will be 25 minus y squared. Put this in the box. That is important. So as you can see, the radius of water is changing depending on which location I'm talking about. So it is the biggest one at the top. This is the biggest radius, 5. Then it gets smaller and smaller and at some point becomes 0. That's why the radius is the is a variable. It's changing. Since the changing radius is parallel to x-axis, that's how we know it's going to be x. So we're solving for x. x equals a square root and so on. Now, we also know, so let me write down for you, that is a circle. circle. Circle with radius r equals 5, equation of the circle. Now, we also know area. Area, a of y. Area will depend on how deep I'm looking at this slice. That's why it depends on y. Will be pi r of y squared or just pi r squared but we just found my r of y here it is that's x equals right so it's going to be pi and then 25 minus y squared a square root squared or let's simplify area will be pi 25 minus y squared. Area is in feet squared units. Put this in the box. That also is important. Radius was in feet, as you understand. Feet. So let's write down that this was area. Area of the circle, right? Now, those are my slices. So as you can see, here's a 3D picture. Those are my slices, horizontal slices. They do have thickness, and we just figure out that the area of those slices is keep changing. Now, the volume, so let's call it step one, step two, and in red color, I'm just putting all the formulas we need. Step three, each slice has a volume, which we're going to call dv. So it's not just a circle, as you can, as you remember, each slice has a thickness. So the volume of that will be the area we just found times the thickness, which is the same for all the slices, dy. So that is pi 25 minus y squared dy. The volume now is in feet cube. 
the mass usually we calculate the mass as a density of the liquid times the gravitational constant but it is given here mass is given 62.5 and we're multiplying by the volume dv so that's going to be my mass now each slice each slice uh, must be lifted by a height so each slice must be lifted um, by oh, let's say uh, each slice at the location y must be lifted the height h h which is absolute value of y which is minus y feet y minus y because we are at the below x below x axis as you can see so we need to lift the water up by how much it's uh, the maximum amount of water we are lifting is minus five or five units up but at every single point it's a different amount of water and that's why it's a variable y we are lifting y now finally six the work required to lift the work required to lift this water to lift all the slices from the bottom y equals minus five to the top y equals zero is and we can create an integral work is from we're lifting from minus five to zero that's how much how the water will be traveling the mass is 62.5 that's my mass then pi r squared that is the area of each slice and finally times the width well the width actually the y of each slice times the elevation of the water elevation of the water is zero minus y so at each point we look at the area from y equals to zero that's the fixed fixed part of the area y equals zero but the bottom is variable at every time we're gonna have y equals zero minus and the other variable is y so zero minus y basically you also can see it from here from here we're saying how do we lift the water each slice must be lifted a height h is absolute value of y which is minus y in this case and this is my integral now in black color i can just integrate this kick out 62.5 pi from minus 5 to 0 distribute that is going to be minus 25y plus y cube dy integrate that is 62.5y minus 25y squared over 2 plus y to the 4 over 4 a bar from minus 5 to 0 plug the top and then when you plug the bottom be careful to not to forget negative sign minus and then open parenthesis and then plug negative 5 everywhere and the answer will be 97 65 pi and it's going to be what the units what do you think work is in feet per pound and that is the answer I will try to make more videos on more work problems, but for now this is what we have, and good job for watching. The more you do, the more I think intuition you get from these ideas, and specifically how to see it as an engineer who builds these shapes and to and how the engineer imagined all those shapes mapped on top of x and y axis. Thank you for watching.